All right. So this is it. Hey friends, Thursday, the new hump day. Am I right, Steve? Ah, yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> the new hump day without a countdown. Today, that's, that's true. our We're special just... surprise. We promised you a surprise today. We're just coming in hot. No countdown. Who needs a countdown when you got all the content <laughs> that we got today? All right, let's see who's here. <laughs> who's our insiders? Oh man, actual Henry insiders. Frost. Henry Frost is Jeremy, our number one. Jeremy insider. Wheat is here. Jeremy Wheat is here. All right. I insider. got Brad Ray. Lisey Weesey's here. Lisey Weesey. All right, Brad Ray. Awesome. Hey, I didn't have our usual reminder up at the top of the show, but would you do a sec? Would you do a second? Would you take a second? Ah, uh, take one or do one. And would you, you. Um, share this show, please? Mm. That would be amazing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be a good reason to share this one. Yeah, hold on, Steve. Let me fix your shot. There we go. Uh, you know, my shot was perfect. Well, I don't know it was what you're trying to fix. It was a little weird, actually. Probably. All right. Hey, Chuck Lyons. Me. All right. Hey, here's the deal. If you are watching on YouTube playback right now, yeah. welcome. Inside Axel is a weekly live stream that happens over on Facebook, mm -hmm. and we post it on YouTube right after the show. So if you ever want to join us live. Come on over. Come on over yeah. Thursdays, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, and 10 p.m. UTC. Part of us. And you can catch the Facebook Please live stream. Come. So again, that's for all of the uh, YouTubers watching later. Yeah. But everyone here right now, you are already Axtell Insiders. You're in on it. Let's see who we got. We got Derek. What's up, Derek? All right. John Adams, Brad Ray. Hey, Carlo Penso, our special guest mm. tonight. That's right. All the way from South Africa. John Adams. Is here. Hey, yeah. so do us a favor, do us a solid. All right. As Steve's generation would say, do us a solid. That's um and share the hey, we got Wolfie. Come yeah. on. From Germany. Lawrence Presti. He set his alarm so he could be here tonight. Come on. Wolfie. Owen Reed is here from the UK. Hey, and Owen it's a good Reed, thing you are, Owen. He is our performer spotlight yeah. tonight. All right. Love Lawrence that he's is here. here. All right. Here's the deal. Yeah. We got a king size show for you today. A big one. Big and I need you all to take a moment and share this to your mm -hmm. Facebook page. Thank you, Louise. Shoot the link out. Lisey. Steve, Thank did you already you. share this to Axel Entertainers? I, uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'll do it right I now. I don't mind doing it if you oh, are okay. if busy you hosting a show. I, <laughs> Meredith, have you shared? That's the question. <laughs> And also, right, as always, throw a like button. I can see if you shared, folks, because it says sharer above your name. Now, it should say insider because that's what oh, you are. Oh, hey, Steve. Yeah. This is Ryan Axel yeah. coming at you from Muggle Watch 2020. It's been a minute, but we wanted to check in. It looks like that mug's a little close. Also, I don't <laughs> see the Terry Fader mug, which probably means it broke. I see you got the Axel Expression book. Uh, Back to you, Steve. No, it's right here. It's, uh... Oh. Hey, Steve, it looks like you can't find that mug, oh, which is. probably means it's there. broken. Ooh, no. it looks like it's a little bit close to the it's edge here. of the shelf. Go ahead and move it in there, okay. Steve. Okay, moving it in. Okay, <laughs> double mug watch 2020 back to you. That's right, friends. We haven't forgotten about mug watch. Hey, Chris Faircloth, Ben Cunningham, Keith Mossberger. What's up, everybody? I tell you, man, Chris was prolific with the... Uh, tiki comments. <laughs> we got, we got some good tiki. Good ones. Good yeah, tiki good questions. Ones. So Lots again, of folks were take actually, a moment. Hey Ben, how are you? Share this video. All right, Keith is here. Because you got to share it. Oh, and also at the end of the show, in yeah. case you're like, eh, I'm mm -hmm. going to catch the first five minutes. They're going to give me a shout out, and then I'm going to bounce out of here. No, nope. we have a one of happen. a kind Axtell auction at Nobody the end of this. Nobody bounces on this show. These are insiders. I know these are the insiders, but someone else. These are the insiders. All I'm saying is, at the end of the show, yeah, we have mm -hmm. a one of a kind exclusive Axtell product mm -hmm. being auctioned to only you insiders, and this is be going to become an ongoing thing. A we, thing. We'll tell you about it later. But it's just so in cool. case you're like, I'm going to get out of here. First off, we're going to give a free giveaway. And we're going to have a one-of-a-kind auction at the end. Miley Waterman. Cousin Miley All is right. here. What's up, Miley? Miles! Wally, welcome from Canada. And you are right. Uh, we paid our electric bill. <laughs> and we quenched all of the fires. Yeah, there is a giveaway also. That's um, right, Jeremy. So <laughs> last week, if you were with us, we are so grateful 
because you stuck with us for three live videos. We started <laughs> off as soon as we brought Greg uh, Phillips, our performer spotlight on, power went out. Bam! We have rolling blackouts here in California. Bam! Um, part of the cost of living by the beach, I guess. And then we went live outside. We showed you feeding our turtles. By the beach. We had some fun by the barbecue. <laughs> and then power came back on. So we yeah. came back inside. We showed Greg Phillips. We showed Siri Alto. It was a great show. Anyways. Oh, my gosh. So fun. And it I gave know, us right? an idea. Somebody said, Ryan, you got to throw some uh, something on the barbecue. Yeah. Well, speaking I of throw, I got that. thrown under the bus for not grilling. Oh, we should do some grills. We I would love totally to if I ever had a show. if I ever had a gap in my to-do list. Steve. There will be a gap, and yeah, one right. of the to-do points will be grill something. Yeah, right. Every time I have a break, Steve just says, "Make more dinkies." Oh my goodness, stop it, <laughs> Benny Kirshner. What's up, man? All right, hey, G. Michael Albert is here from John, France. John, what's up? All right, man. We got a good crew of insiders. Insiders. Today. So again, we have an auction and we have a giveaway at the mm -hmm. end of the show. So yep. stick around because Only you're not to the sharers. That's right. Of the auction, you're not going to want to uh, miss. Show. If you want to be a part of the free giveaway, you Thank have you. to share this video, and we will pick. <laughs> Chuck says, "Grill the lizard." <laughs> um, hey, well, here at Inside Axtell. Uh. I need Our to bring goal the on us a special is guest. to go behind the scenes as we explore entertainment, creativity, and community. Hey, we have Amanda Stump here, April from Michigan, Stephen Landis. Man, we got a good crew of insiders yeah, tonight, Steve. Again, if you're watching on the Facebook playback and you want to be a part of the action, YouTube you got to join Facebook playback. I'm sorry, anywhere. Well, either way, yeah. if you're yeah, watching the playback on Facebook or, or on YouTube, mm -hmm. come and join us right now. Well, next week. <laughs> Come and join the live stream. In yeah. fact, you know what? We're live every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific on Facebook.com. That's Axtell right. Axtell Expressions. That's yep. right. In fact, you know what I'm going to do, Steve? What are you going to do? This is unprecedented. You're actually going to post a link? No, I'm going to go live on Instagram right now and tell people. They Seriously? Gotta, yeah, they got to get over well, here. Well, that's cool. Because hey, we're, folks. we're about to get in on it. So we're live on Facebook, and Ryan's going live on Instagram mm -hmm. right now. Let's see. If you're over there, say, hey, I'm over there, too. That'd be sweet. He's All doing right. it on the Axtell Expressions What's up, everybody? Page, hey, this hey, is Ryan folks. Axtell, Steve oh Axtell, and everyone else tuning in yeah. on our Facebook Live. Yeah. We are live right now We're on Facebook here. for Inside Axtell Episode 5. Come on over, Instagram! Come and join us. Come on, Instagram! Come join us! We got a great show. Come and hang with us. Episode 5, we got Owen Reed as a highlight, we got Carlo Penso mm -hmm. from South Africa. Henry Frost is here and over here. Henry Frost is everywhere. It's an international show. It's going to be a great show. So come on over and hang with us right now on Facebook. All right. All right. Excellent. Now, back. Okay. It's been an amazing week, Ryan. It has, man. It has, yep. Yeah. We've had so many projects going on. I think it was. it's probably time to show people what's in the works what do you think buddy well should we let's do it man let's let's take Lots a look at the uh, shop walkthrough there are videos throughout the week for the week hey jace actually first <laughs> oh, did before we do that did everyone share let's i have an inkling that listen someone to this guy right here someone didn't share steve did you share this to your I'm gonna profile i'm going to be like Shaq and do the i want i want to see 50 people here man we're right there we're at 45 Steve, did you share this? Why am I so bad with reverse monitors? I don't know. I, I need to have a reverse monitor. I would no. like to palm you right now like Shaq would do. I can't. I don't it's even It's not know because of the monitor, there Steve. It, yeah, it is, All right. actually. Yeah, would you like me got... to share this for ah. you? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm going to do this. There we go. Lawrence Prestige ah. shared. There we go. And he said, I can't believe Steve can't even share. Ah, whatever. Okay. Scuba Diver Joe is here. Scuba Diver Joe, Scuba Diver Joe, Scuba Diver Scuba, <laughs> Scuba Diver Joe. Uh, I'm going to share this, Steve, um, since I know it's a bit difficult for you. You're not a digital native. There you're I'm always, holding, you're I'm always holding asking, Ryan in the palm of you're my hand. Always, Steve's He's got always the like, whole world. Steve always says, hey, I heard we got a lot of Facebook comments. Can you print them out for me? Stop So it. I can read them. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. He's like, can you mimeograph them <laughs> for me? <laughs> <laughs> he still, How do you even know that he still, term? Instead of shooting me text messages, he sends me faxes. Oh, stop. I'm just, Tim, oh you God. shared, Steve. Of course, Tim, you shared. <laughs> He's going to be one of our featured guests That's pretty right. soon. Yeah. 
He's going to be one of our performer spotlights. And uh, all right, Chuck share. Jay, oh did you gosh. share? I think everyone. I, hear, I know you're here from London. I but, think everyone but Steve has mm, shared. Did you share? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I'm doing this. Oh, please. All right. Summer is here from Camarillo. Hey. All right. Lee Rademacher is here. Good. All right. Lee. All right. Steve, I'm sharing this to your page, and then we're, we're diving into some content. All right. Okay. I suggested that earlier. Well, I'm sick of your stalling because yeah. I don't know how to share. You know, you're sitting a little low in your circle. I wonder if you could either <laughs> boost your chair or lower your cam. <laughs> One of the two. I can do both. <laughs> You're at the 25% mark. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the okay. focus is the microphone after all. All right. Hey, this is a pretty cool microphone, right? Shout out. It hey, is, for all my Canadian friends, dude, this is a right, Canadian there microphone. There we go. Advanced is Audio. It? It's a is Canadian it? microphone company. I love this mic. It's a great mic. Yeah. I use it for a lot of my band's recordings. Uh huh. It's a great broadcasting mic. So shout out. I used to it for advanced a banana, audio. Banana, banana, banana. That's right. Yeah. Hey, Steve, hmm. well, I'm sharing this to your profile because you wanted it mineographed. Yep. Will you take a moment and talk about that pirate head? You're getting some love from Lawrence about that oh. pirate head. Oh, yeah. This pirate head right here, which if the camera was set properly, you would see it next to the... Um, don't me, who do you want me to fax about that, no, check Steve? it out. Check it out. Ooh, should I, boom, who boom. should I fax? Look at that. Look at that. I'm the cameraman now. <laughs> All right. So you see the parrot there next to the pirate? Well, the pirate was made for my friend John Hardman, who actually... Um, uh, passed away a few years ago, but he actually dressed exactly like this, <laughs> I must admit. Um, I always wore these hats, but when I saw John Hardman also wore them, uh, I thought he was the coolest dude in the world. So anyway, John Hardman uh, had me make this, and it was a uh, costume head actually, not a puppet, a costume head, and it was way up here, and I'll show links to it, I've done it before, uh, but the puppeteer that was inside it walking around had his arm out into a seagull puppet and it walked around a Dallas theme park called Adventureland, I believe. Okay. And that was uh, the background on the pirate. It's a cool, cool character. So the pirate didn't talk. It was just kind of like that um, trash man that carries around. Uh, hey, Oscar the Grouch Steve, that's a the, really great story, day. but that mug looks like you know, it's literally hanging know, off the edge of the table. Steve, can you go ahead and move it so that more than 50% <laughs> of the cup's mass is over the edge of the table? Thanks, Steve. Back to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, man. You, okay. I couldn't. So that's the story, and I'm it. sticking to it, and it was interrupted. So, Well, hey, Lee Rademacher said he's been wearing those hats. Since he was 13, and he's 68, there you so go. you're doing something There right. you go. Well, and Benny Kirshner said... I have two since I was 17, actually. Um, Steve, I just realized... Benny, I'm at, Benny. I'm out, of, I'm out of coffee. Ba -ba -ba Benny and the... Um, what? i got to get a refill. Can you tell us, though, but Benny said, what's the story with the squirrel, Chipper's Christmas Adventure? Right here. Let me grab, let me grab another cup of coffee. The squirrel. Can, can you tell us about the right squirrel? Here. This squirrel was from Chipper's Christmas Adventure. It was a video that was made for Gospel Light. Um, back in the 90s, 91, 92, I believe. You can see it on YouTube, but it's not the actual one. It's one kind of spoofing it and making fun of it. The puppets are incredible. And uh, Greg's writing and John Hambrick's uh, music, um, all of the script and stuff, it was a super cool shoot that we did. But this is Chipper. This is actually uh, Chipper when he was a baby, but I have it, I have it just posed here. Um, and we, we took um, a prosthetic to the forest, and this prosthetic was a, um, the shape of a knot hole, and we put it up there. It was built in latex and stuff. After the shoot, we just left it there because it looked so natural. You couldn't tell. Um, but the, um, the whole thing is about um, Chipper, the squirrel, Peter the pine tree, and they grow up together, and it's a Christmas show called Chipper's Christmas Adventure. Greg Jackson, my producer for many, many years and continues to be, yep. a big help to us. Incredible um, musician. Yeah, man. he is uh, like John Williams and uh, an incredible sequencer and uh, composer. Um, works with our live virtual sets and does a lot of our big orchestration stuff. Um, helps Ryan with some of that. 
that is um, a show that he produced back in the 90s. And, and that was, uh, so that's why Chip, Chipper is there. And each one of these things have a story. And I love it when you ask the questions about what's on the shelf. It's super cool. And of course, did you know that this cup was given to me by Chuck Lyons? Oh, yeah, because I broke the first one that I had of the Terry Fader. Cup. That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> hey, Steve, real quick. Yeah. Can you put this on this? Can I? <laughs> How could I put this on that? No. There. <laughs> it, it doesn't fit, Ryan. It doesn't For fit. For old time's sake. <laughs> There. Oh, there my sound clip is missing. Oh, no. What? Oh, that's what that red dot means. This isn't even the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, together. Here we go. I'll harmonize with you. Two, three, four. Steve, Steve. struggling with stands. He's struggling with stands. He's struggling with stands. Everybody want to see Steve, Steve, Steve struggling, struggling with Stan, struggling with, struggling with Stan, struggling with, struggling with Stan, Steve struggles with Stan's. Whatever. Ryan what a, wrote that song one afternoon before I walked up into the studio and completely embarrassed me. That's true. So that, this is not part of the auction. Sorry. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Steve. I just found the MP3. So what I was saying is two, three, four. Oh, but I got it muted. Here you go. Struggling with stands, always struggling it's with what the stands. people want to hear. The people want to. All right, Steve, you want to show some uh, in the shop shenanigans? Ten minutes ago. Struggling well, with you were busy struggling with stands. Struggles with Not really. Stands. <laughs> struggles with stands. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for bringing up the uh, my past insecurities. Well, Steve, let's uh, let's take a look at the shop. Let's do it this week. Hey, let's see what's happening in the shop today. All right, we got we are wrapping up this. This All custom, right. Uh, reindeer. Ooh, look at that. Can have blinking eyes for Woo. our friend Reiner. All right. In Germany, it's going to have the, the Rudolph it's nose. Beautiful. It's all got some custom colors here. So this is the blinker mechanism that's then going to be all right. Put on this uh, this body. We got we got a snake here. That's uh, we're wrapping up for our our friend Nikolai. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. In uh, Norway, look and his his toucan. Basset hound, Sandra. You working on a basset hound? Yeah. Woo! That is beautiful. You painted that? No. Oh, it's so nice. That's <laughs> great. Snake and it's really cool. This really cool fabric. Oh, yeah. Snake comes on. Awesome. Yeah, man. Just another day. Another day. All right, Wes. Hitting the dinkies. Now we're going to bind it to our controller. Right. So this is one of our animatronic characters. So cool. Much like our um, chickens. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. So you can control it, you know, directly. It's Ryan to be a good Animatron. ventriloquist. Hey, all right. Jose's got the reindeer going for Ryan. It's Woo. It's going to be great. It's a, gr a customized gray one. All right, it's going to have the Rudolph nose on it. All right. Here is Aaron Sherman's going to have green eyes in this turtle, a koala. Sea monster, fantastic. And Sandra's got a donkey going. All right, ready for the Democratic Convention. All right, super <laughs> fun. A lot of fun projects that actually a lot of these shipped today. I know, it's so cool to see them progress through the week.
making some molds, it looks like. Yep. Get ready to pour one of the new dinkies. Ooh, dinkies going out. Going Look out. at those. Yep, going out. Absolutely. That's what was in the works. So what's cool about week. that is Reiner, who I don't know if he's here right now, but he's here often. Oh, he's here, I'm sure. Um, his Blinking Moose, that video was from early in the week. Yeah. It's actually shipping. His... Uh, his blinking eyed reindeer. Mm -hmm. And then in the winter time around Christmas, he can be Rudolph. He's got a magnetic nose. Pops it on. That is shipping off. And then Aaron Sherman, who's also with us quite a bit. Uh, he has a, yeah. a big order coming with that. He's got a donkey. He has that sea monster, which is one of my favorite characters. Absolutely so great. What's fun great is, character. hey, what's up, Harry? Um, a lot of those puppets you just saw. Oh, Aaron also had that um, that turtle head. Oh, those yeah, yeah, are the green one. Yep. Those are shipping or have shipped. Um, it's or the same as this tomorrow. character up Very here. Cool. This turtle, right up here, and uh, uh, just a different shade of green. Um, he's going to be using it as a different character, of course. And oh, Steve, I just got a text yeah. from Wes. Yeah. And I'm not even going to describe what it is. I'm just going to say. Oh my goodness. We got some new new That's products the next coming. Ones. I, we can't talk about it yet. That's the next dinkies. These may or may not be the next two styles of dinkies. It is. It is. He. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. So, uh, I have two other designs that are actually in molds. Uh, third one coming. That's and right. A fourth one being printed right now. Um, because we do a lot big, of our it's designing. A big deal. Um, Steve does it digitally, and then we print using a 3D printer. And then we bring it into the physical yep. world. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Steve. Um, hey, um, it's so you, exciting that the yeah. dinkies are shipping. I'd, I'd love for you to uh, show a couple of pictures that have um, come up this week because that's we've, right. I've had a huge batch of dinkies. Check this out. So, for those of you that, that may be even wondering, um, Steve and when myself my and Susie, I mean, these are handmade by us right yeah. here and our team. We're making them right in our shop yeah. as Jose and Sandra and Wes continue to work on a lot of the orders that you have put in. Again, reminder, our stuff is handmade when it's ordered. It is yeah. artisan. It, it takes time, and that's part of what makes it so great. We're and committed right now, to quality. Right now, we have over 100 puppets on order. That's right. That and we're, we're doing making. our best to get them out on time. Um, and to you as fast as you can while yeah. still keeping the quality obviously high. Mm -hmm. But what's fun is a lot of us have been doing dinkies like on the side, yeah. cranking them out. Totally. And so I got a, I got a picture here. Look at this proud papa. <laughs> Come on, look at all those dinkies right there. Uh, he is just pumped. It looks, like a, it looks like a scene from Star Trek with the trebles. Okay, so someone mentioned that, and yep. I didn't know what they meant. Oh, check it out. Oh, my gosh. Look. Um, I'll find it. Look yeah, at this. I didn't. Look someone said something about Star Trek. Oh, yeah. And I didn't, no, 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 no. I didn't quite get it. Look at this. Um, Tribbles. I'm probably not smart enough. No, no, no. Here. Eh. I'm more of a Dungeons uh, and Dragons no, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at the Tribbles. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. All right. Let me find it. There we go. Right there. Yeah, show us. And then yeah, I got some more dinky stuff to show. No, I, even the picture itself looks I'll like... I'll pop that picture back up. Here, you know, All put right. that back up in here. I'm going to bring this to the camera. We'll show right. that first. And okay. then I'll... Okay, so this is... Yeah, Chuck Lines and William Tribbles. William Shatner with the Tribbles. Okay. Look at so that. now let's jump over to Steve. Yep. That's pretty much <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> Paul Burnham said, another day, another dinky. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Paul. Hey, check this out, though. Here's... Yeah. This was a couple days ago. This was... Yeah. A whole stack of dinkies going out. Shipping out. Isn't the that dinkies. cool? Yeah. And what's cool is most of these dinky Awfully recipients boxes are, for a dinky. are insiders like you who are here right now. Insiders. I love it. We love it that they're going to you first. Mm -hmm. uh, but we showed this last week, but it's worth showing again. Um, our, our good friend Derek Lux... Um, him and his wife, Lauren, amazing entertainers. They're out yeah. of Vegas now. They used to be out of the Bay Area. We've done a lot of live virtual sets uh, with them. Yeah. And they're Peter Pan. Yeah, great, and they're, great puppet um, builders of their own. Alice and one of Deluxe Puppets. They just did yeah. a project 
for Kaiser Permanente. Yeah. It turned out really cool. But they sent us this video. They ordered dinkies for their twins' birthday, and it worked out um, that they sent us a video showing their reaction. Super cool. So this just, you know, no matter how hard your life is right oh, now. Oh, you got to love uh, that excitement. This just brings a little bit of joy. So let's take a look. Look at this. All right. Hi guys, happy birthday! Happy birthday, whoever you are. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, we have a surprise for you. Wait, 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 what? This is a big. Why don't you flip it over, please? Wait, this is big. Look who wrote this. No, I want to see. It's big. Well, who's it for? That's for Dylan and Dexter. Okay. Okay, ready? All right, guys. Surprise. Can you go back over? Go back under the sign. Go back under the birthday sign. Go back over, do you? There we go. It's so great. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. Hey, Wolfie, um, are you shipping with USPS? So, yes, we are. FedEx has been the most reliable, it seems, lately, and, and Teresa could speak to this more, but we've had great success in timing mm. with FedEx. I believe we're shipping with UPS and uh, USPS as well. Yep. Um, I think we're shipping with all of them, but uh, FedEx has just been kind of Im impressing us as of late in terms of just... Um, service. So to answer that question, uh, if anyone has sh questions about shipping, Teresa is our resident expert in customer service. Is she order, with us tonight? Order at axtel.com. She can answer more specific questions about rates and shipping uh, and all that. Thanks, John. Yeah, they are super cute. Oh, Lisey Weesey. Her daughter had twins last wow, week. Wow, congratulations. One of each. Time to order dinkies. Yeah. <laughs> so it used to be in the 50s, you know, they had so kids, you got, you got a cigar and flowers. Now you get dinkies. Dinkies. Come pretty on. Much, pretty everyone, much. You hand out dinkies. Everyone knows that. Buy yeah. them by the dozen. Hand Jay, them out. Jay said, have... I wish I got that reaction every time I entered a room. <laughs> yeah. I walk in and the kids are like, where's your phone? Can yeah, I watch something? Where are the dinkies? Did you bring well, it? Well, we have another video because Steve and I made a new video. So first off, I'm going to share a link with you all. If you haven't seen this yet, we, we made a video a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> called the banana song maybe two weeks ago yeah um you play the first one and then play the second uh, i don't one. have the i don't have that one here okay. i'm gonna but i'm gonna put a link to I, it i do um all right yeah. and so i would love for you all to share this video watch oh, yeah. it this is and a new one share it i know you saw um, the original every this is the original right now i'm gonna oh. i'm gonna put the original in the in the uh oh okay good in the feed just so Anytime we post something, if you wouldn't mind taking this link, hey Bruce Cook is here. What's up, Bruce? Um, I'm gonna put a link. This is the banana the banana song that we showed uh, a couple weeks ago, and I'd love for you all to share this video, watch it, share it, pass it around. Um, anytime you guys share one of our YouTube videos, it just helps the algorithm pay attention to what's going on, and all that means is it makes it uh, more visible to other people. The so algorithm. I just shared attention. it in the comments. It's a YouTube link to the banana song, a and link we would love it if you watch it on YouTube, and if you share the YouTube link, uh, because that just helps us continue to kind of shine a spotlight on the work that we do. Spotlight. But <laughs> we made a new video that we wanted to share with you, and hey, Joey, thank you, man. And also glad to hear that you guys are safe. I think Joey said he's in Ooh. Alabama and Hurricane Sally. It's uh, rough. That is rough. Lower Alabama, yeah. So praying and thinking about yeah. all of you Stay uh, safe, on buddy. the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Um, thanks for the update. Okay, I did want to share uh, this new dinky video that we have mm -hmm. that Steve and I just filmed. It's just pure shenanigans. It's a lot of fun. Let's take a look. And then I'll put a link and you guys can share this as All well. Right. Hey, Sherry, thanks for sharing. All right. It's her around. name, Sherry. I know. She's Steve, I'm not, I'm not goofing around. She's I'm, an insider. I'm not going to say Sheree. That's so <laughs> last week, 2020. Okay. Hey, John, thank you for sharing that, man. Thank you for posting it. We really do appreciate every single share. That's so Axtell's attic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, take a look. Banana, nana, nana. <laughs> hey, bud. Banana, nana, nana. All right. Um, yeah. Banana, nana, nana. 
Okay, go in the other room and finish up. Banana! Nummy banana! <laughs> All right. Good. Banana, banana, banana. Hey. Banana, banana, banana. Cooking lunch right now. It's gonna be done in like banana, five banana, minutes, okay? Banana. Uh, okay. Banana, banana, banana. All right, take it over there. Come on. Banana, 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 okay. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Ah! Ow! Banana, banana. Okay, I get banana, it. Banana, banana, banana. Last one. Banana, banana, banana. Eat it over there. Banana, banana, banana. Nummy, banana. Well, nummy, banana. <laughs> okay, so just a couple of grown men goofing around with a really small puppet. But hey, you know what? It's all about the creative, isn't it? Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah. And you know what's what's funny about that video is you see Steve's hand in it, right? Like yeah, we're not sure. we're not trying we're not trying too hard. But it just works. It just comes to life. It doesn't and, matter. My, it's, my it's kids now all love hashtag <laughs> nummy nana and they love at the end. So what's funny is, okay, so, so real quick, I just no. put a link to that new video, new dinky video. It's right there in the comments. Oh, cool. It would be amazing all right. if you yeah. all take it. Would you like it on YouTube? Oh, I'm asking yeah. you right now. What we would love to see is you would just like it. And if you hate it, it. go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's fine. <laughs> Um, Owen Reed, gonna hear from you soon, brother. All right. Um, if Thank you guys you. wouldn't mind sharing it, liking it, um, and pass it on to someone. Pass it on to Ryan, someone. Ryan, I think needs... we went too far because th they're saying like it's too cute. So I think screw, we blew it, man. Okay. So funny, funny behind the scenes story. So you know, Steve and I, <laughs> we're using. Um, we have a couple cameras that we use. No. Oh, Chuck, thanks. Hey, Steve, once again, that mug is 50% off of the table's edge. And if I remember trigonometry or physics, that is a dangerous ratio. Could you go ahead and move the Axtel oh. Innovations <laughs> that entertain the World Cup into the table? Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> um, so what's funny about that video Thank is, you, Chuck. <laughs> so Steve and I, we're trying to stage this video, you know, two large guys moving around the house. <laughs> Trying to, you know, like trying to not be seen, have a monitor, have a camera, all this stuff, get audio, ADR, all this stuff. And the bananas. Oh, my gosh. Were mush. They were just <laughs> the dying. End. So the last scene, I'm laying in the bed and I cram a whole, you know, I, I cram a whole uh, pack of bananas into the mouth of, of oh the dinky monkey. Oh, my gosh. And they were so squishy, we had to tape uh, them together. Yeah. And we were just hoping that they don't burst. Um all that to say, take a moment. I'll, I'll put it in the links again. We would be so appreciative if you yeah. guys um, watch the video, like it, um, share it, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> also, if you're on YouTube, hit the bell, ring the notification, uh, because we got a lot more content coming your way. A lot of it's been in the works for a while, and we're excited to show it soon. And uh, it's just a way that we can share. And every time you like something, mm. it really helps us oh, because oh my gosh, yes. it just makes it yeah. more visible. Uh, for people like you, and we really yeah. appreciate that. We're, we're, we're desperate for your help uh, during this time, and we appreciate your yeah. uh, support, your loyalty, oh, man. and sharing everything. We just love you insiders. Thank you so much. We really do. Ryan, one more time. we got to play that video one more time. All right, one more time, and I'm then we are going. Requests. You know, yep. Owen Reed just chimed yep. in here. So right, at, I'm going to show the Dinky video yeah, one yeah. more time. Yep, yeah, and Amanda then it's time said, for Owen. Hey, Jay said, just put it in my business WhatsApp group. My team oh, no, are going to no. wake up to a Dinky surprise. Oh, Jay, that's awesome. <laughs> Nothing says business like the Dinkies. <laughs> Business up front, party in the back. There. Well, that's no, that's a mullet. A dinky would be bananas up front, party in the back. All right, <laughs> one more time. Let's go. Let's go to those little dinky monkeys. The new video. Then we're gonna cut to our good friend Owen Reed, the performer spotlight, all the way all right. from the UK. All right. Here we go. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> hey, bud. Banana, banana, banana. 
All right. Um, yeah. Okay, go in the other room and finish up. Banana, yummy banana. <laughs> All right. You good. Banana, banana, banana. Hey. Banana, banana, banana. Cooking lunch right now. It's gonna be done in like banana, five minutes. Banana, okay. Banana. Uh, okay. Banana, banana, banana. All right. Take it over there. Come on. Banana, 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 okay. Banana. Banana, banana, 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 banana. Ah! Banana, Ow! Banana, banana. Okay, I get banana, it. Banana, banana, banana. Last one. Banana, banana, banana. Eat it over there. Banana, banana, banana. No, eat banana. Well, Nanny Nana. Banana, Nana, Nana. Yeah, yeah. Banana, Nana, Nana. Come on, hashtag <laughs> Nummy Nana. Banana, Joe banana, Zimmer knows what I'm talking about. Banana, All banana, right, hey, we're moving on to our good friend, Owen right, Reed. Owen Check Reed. out our performer spotlight this week. Performer spotlight. Hi, hi, hello, my name's Owen Reed. I'm in the UK and I'm a ventriloquist. Um, I, I have a very small family. I've got a daughter called Leanne, a son called Alex, and a very young daughter called Sherelle. I'm also a great grandfather. So yes, believe it or not, I'm uh, 60 years of age and I've been doing ventriloquism for about 30 years. So a little bit about myself. Yes, I've been a performer for around 30 years. Um, I fell into ventriloquism really. I mean, I've always been fascinated by puppets and how they actually worked. Um, I was in Portugal and a contract fell through and they said to me, look, you're here for nine months. We paid for the accommodation, paid for flight. What do you want to do? So I said, you know what? I'm going to stay over here. And it was over there that I actually learned ventriloquism. I was walking the streets um, with, with a puppet what I had brought over with me, which normally just didn't do anything apart from like nods his heads and stuff like that. Um, and I found that people were very receptive and people were saying that I was really good. So from there, um, I sort of taken it uh, all over the place. Um, I, I call my guy the name of Foxy the Funky Magic Genie and also Aphrodisiac. Foxy the Funky Magic Genie is a very naughty genie. Uh, he does children's shows and Aphrodisiac, he does sort of more cabaret type shows. Also in the UK, I have a club called UKVC, which is the UK Ventriloquist Club. Um, I run that with a friend of mine called Ian, um, uh, which we, we sort of like put on little um, meetings every other week as well. Uh, my show's been all over the world. Um, I've been as far as Maldives, um, Hong Kong, um, performed my show. I said there are two different types of shows. One's a children, one's a cabaret. The cabaret show consists of like characters doing everything from Elvis Presley right through to Barry White. What Axtell products do I have? I have a drawing board. I have a mint mouth. I also have uh, the old man. I have uh, Diva, uh, Louis Armstrong, and a turtle and a bird. So I'm guessing that's probably, I didn't count them, but I've got a quite a few um, Axtell products. Uh, another good uh, moment at uh, one of my performances really was a, a little old lady after performing with the, um, the puppets doing my cabaret show. She came up to me and said, excuse me, young man. I said, what is that? I was a little bit nervous. Uh, she said, um, you know, this is the first time I've laughed since my husband died two years ago. I really enjoyed your show. And for me, that really made my day. And it shows you ventriloquism can make people happy. Okay, so the funniest thing that's ever happened to me while I have uh, was performing is uh, I was actually at old people's home and uh, this guy was going out as uh, Tom Jones. Yeah, I like to go as Tom Jones. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's the older version of Tom Jones in the future. And um, as usual with Tom Jones, he has like women throwing their, uh, you know, um, bits at them, you know, their undergarments, so to speak. Uh, so what we did, we handed out this in the care home um, and an old lady started putting it on and the carers had to try and get the, um, 
get them back from the, the lady. So, yeah, that was quite a funny experience. So it was quite funny. Everyone just looking at me, going, I know, can't put it on, but yeah, it really happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the green, green grass of home. As a performer um, and an entertainer, the, the goal really is to go out there and make people happy. And I find as a venture because I'm able to do that. And for me, I just want to continue doing exactly what I do, making people happy. Venture Cook is actually making a comeback now. I mean, it sort of died off a little bit and they had all these comedy clubs and stuff like that. But now, um, you know, you've got people like Darcy Lane, Paul Zerden, Terry Fader, um, Jeff Dunham. Those sort of people going out there and showing the world um, what Venture Cook is all about. It's on the comeback. And I want to be there as we go up and up and up and perform worldwide again and making people happy. That's me, Owen. So thank you for joining us for another edition of Performer Spot. Come on, everyone, hit that like button. Yeah, hit Owen that like Reed. button for Owen Reed hey, from Creative thank, Puppets. I want to thank Owen Reed for um, doing an interview with us as well um, on Creative Puppets UK with Ian, and it was it was wonderful to be interviewed by Owen. Um, and I, in exchange, I love to have Owen on our show as well. He's been an incredible ventriloquist and friend over the years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice stuff. Thank you, Owen, for being part of uh, Axtel Inside And I think Axtel. you can check out Creative Puppets on Facebook and more about everything that Owen and Ian are doing there. But so fun to see. You know, we are a part of a community that spans over 80 countries. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're here in the U.S., but so many of you are across the globe, and it's so fun for us to be a part of a global initiative to entertain and spread joy to the world. Yeah, it's absolutely true. Now, My Steve, gosh. we always talk about this. Mm. We get to share. Chuck, it is almost tiki time. <laughs> it is almost tiki time. Lee Rademacher, it's almost tiki almost. time. It's In fact, almost. we got, we yeah, got some up. questions from He's the tiki. He's asleep right now. He's asleep. He needs a few more minutes of rest because we have a custom project. He's literally sleeping He's right now. He's literally sleeping. He doesn't know what's we going on. We have to wake him up with some sort of ritual or chant. I don't know. i got to find him on Wikipedia. Um, yeah. So, hey, again, hit that like button if you enjoyed hearing from Owen. Um, yeah, that was awesome. I love, I love that story, too, when he said, um, you know, the lady said, I haven't laughed since my husband died. You know, And, <sighs> again, it's, it's a reminder that what we do, it's it's more than just silly giggles, but it's it's really about spreading joy mm -hmm. and helping people cope with life. And yeah. life can be very difficult, yet You're smiling kidding, and laughing and yeah. spreading joy can really change someone's outlook. And that's what Owen's doing. You know, he shared at the end that that's kind of his goal with mm -hmm. ventriloquism is continue to to have fun with people and share joy. And so many of you are doing that too. And so it's amazing. we yeah. love, we love partnering with you. Ooh, we got a new Tiki so question great. from Jen Jones. All or right. Summer okay. Jones. Okay. Hang on to those. Hang All on. right. All right, Jen. Um, but we have a new custom we want to show you about. Yeah. This is, a, this another is custom. Steve, do you want to, do you yeah. want to set it up and I'll play the video? So, uh, a good friend over the years. Um, let's see. Um, in, in China, Xiao Shadi. Xiao Shodi, uh, he is an incredible ventriloquist, uh, by far one of the best in China. And he has uh, used our Cheeky Monkey, which he'll explain himself over the years, for at least 10 years, and has made it super famous. And it's all over the television yeah, stations. He's, he's a celebrity media, in China. Social media and everything. And, uh, well, we're, we're going to go ahead and play this, but we made a custom puppet for him because of the success of the Cheeky Monkey. Imagine mm -hmm. that. Let's follow this story here. All right, Steve, let's check it out. Hello, all Axtel fans all over the world. I am Xu Xiaodi, a ventriloquist from China. First of all, thank Mr. Steve for inviting me to appear in his video. Thank you. About 10 years ago, I started using Axtel's Cheeky Monkey to appear on stage as my most commonly used ventriloquist doll. In the past 10 years, Cheeky Monkeys have attracted 10 million followers on the Chinese internet and have participated in recording all the mainstream TV stations in China. 
When it became famous in China, I found that I needed a monkey with exclusive copyright. So, I asked Mr. Steve to make a monkey like this for me. Hello, Steve. I'm going to recite a Chinese Tang poem to you. <laughs> In the process of making this monkey, I was very demanding. Sometimes I need an extra millimeter for its nose. Sometimes I need to reduce the length of its mouth by one millimeter. And sometimes I need to move its ears up or down a little bit. I would like to thank Mr. Steve for taking the trouble to revise it for me until I am satisfied. He is a great producer. I hope you will continue to support Axtel. Continue to support Mr. Steve. Thank you. Bye. So cool. Awesome. I love that he put that together for us. Um, yeah. Man, so that many people a... navigate the bilingual world. Yeah. So he well. did a great job. So he's out touring right now. He's a killer ventriloquist. Oh, yeah. He's really good. What I So, uh, again, I'm, I'm not a performer, but yeah. what I love about watching him is he was laughing and he'd move his lips, oh, no. which changed the shape of your mouth. Totally. But as a singer, I understand that. Didn't, you know. And it didn't change the sound of his laugh. Yeah. No, no, so he's cool, great. man. I mean, and he's out on the road right now, and he um, uh, did that in his hotel room with the uh, actually the translation software and stuff, uh, because he's on tour. That's and, right, and, and things he's still... are open again. And he's he's knocking it down, man. Yeah. He's he's awesome. So shout out to Xiao Shedi in China. Grateful to have him part of the Axel community, continuing to spread joy. And he is a legend there. Yeah, and it was really fun for us to make a an exclusive. A monkey puppet for him and he really he really was yeah. he was very specific he had some very yeah. specific changes those drawings he wanted were to make made, uh, actually um, oh, yeah. some of the drawings were made by chance wolf and he and i collaborated on the look of the character and i did it in 3d modeling after uh, chance did the 2d drawings and stuff and then we modified it further mm -hmm. because um uh, uh, well, D wanted it times, to be a little bit different than the original drawings. And a lot of times, too, what makes yeah. sense in a 2D drawing doesn't make sense no. in a physical realm Absolutely. where your hand yeah. is moving the mouth. So there are some realistic changes you have to make for mobility yeah. and it was super cool. uh, translation from a stage. Sure. So, hey, we, yeah, have, good project. we have a resident wise man yeah, we do. here. Yeah. And we asked you all earlier if you had questions uh, for... The resident wise man and many of you put questions down and so i think it's time mm -hmm. to check in if you have any more comments go ahead and drop them in the comments for the tiki i oh, got great plenty tiki. i got a lot of comments because people were really active earlier this all afternoon. right well steve yeah let's and now it's time to ask the tiki <laughs> Who summons me? Obviously, it's Steve. All right, oh great Tiki, we have some questions. Oh really? Yeah. You are you ready for me to read them? Ha 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 ha! For Joey Harris, the old sage, he calls me. Yes. All right, we have one from Bruce Cook. My wife says she's really tired of the platypus song. Is there another song that should replace it? Obviously, the banana song by the Dinkies, my favorite meal. <laughs> In fact, the follow-up video that you guys released today, where Ryan gets annoyed by the Dinky that's asking for nanas, hashtag nummy nanners, <laughs> that's blowing up my Twitter feed. What? That would be my recommended video to get the platypus song over 4 million views out of your Oh my head. gosh. So, uh, Sherry Brown Rosner asked this question. She's an amazing balloon artist. Did oh, you know great that, Tiki. Steve? What is your fee favorite dinky recipe? Well, dinky's al dente, of course, just a slight char. 
but also Dinky's confit where they're cooked in their own fat. <laughs> Such a delicacy if you're into French cuisine. <laughs> Though myself, I'm more of a vegan. <laughs> All right. Um, Mario asks, Oh, great Tiki, can we surf on the upcoming wave? Wave of what? Dinky? Or are you talking swells like we get here in Southern California? Of course you can surf on those swells, as long as there's enough seconds passing the buoys that are the reference points for the waves coming in. <laughs> and here in Ventura, we have a great spot called Surfer's Point, and we get some great waves. Or visit Kelly Slater up at Rincon. TMI. I believe. Exactly. TMI. Nobody cares about buoy heights. Okay. All right. Chris Faircloth has a question. Is Elvis really dead? Well, obviously no. Have you heard the chain smokers? Sounds exactly like <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> He's still going, just with a little bit of auto-tune. And a follow-up. Uh, where is Jimmy Hoffa? Obviously, he's buried in Grant's tomb. <laughs> Come on, people. Give me something harder. All right. Eric Gagney says, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Are we talking metric system or American <laughs> standard system? I would say nine liters of wood. <laughs> Sandy Johnson said, what does a tiki do for a living? Annoy their owners and family, I think, asking for hashtag nummy nanas. Blow up that hashtag <laughs> nummy nanas. <laughs> hey, Steve, it's Ryan just checking in. I had to go run some errands. Are you good? Oh, yeah. No problem, Ryan. Don't I got worry, it. Ryan, the tiki, which is me, <laughs> and Steve have it all figured yeah, out. Yeah, we got it, Ryan. You can I, just. Sounds good. See you later, Ryan. Okay. See all you, right. Ryan. Later. Steve Petra asks, oh, great Tiki, do you have any videos on Tiki Taki? Well, TikTok is a bit overrated. I mean, if you're into 15-second videos, I'm more into long-form cinephile <laughs> art. Come on, like Seven Samurai and Old Boy. You know, classic films. You can find me over on uh, Hulu and AMC subscriptions. But, uh, yes, I have Tiki Taki. All right. Got to please those millennials with those short attention spans. All right. And the last one for tonight, Carlo Pinso asks. Ah, uh, yes. Our special guest coming up shortly. Do you like Dr. Pepper or Mountain Doom? Well, normally the question is Dr. Pepper or Mr. Pib. <laughs> but of course, I'm a fan of Mountain Dew. But I like Code Red cherry flavor <laughs> all right steve time to go back to sleep okay. oh actually summer jones no. said what is the newest axtel puppet wait till the auction in just a bit ah. and you will see good night old tiki oh great tiki thank you good night master good night oh great tiki all right super cool that was ask the tiki Hey, guys, I'm back. What'd I miss? Hey, Ryan. Oh, it was really cool. The Tiki answered some questions for us while you were oh, gone. Did you need me to weigh in on anything? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, just did you agree with everything the Tiki said, but you weren't here? Oh, so. I was out doing chores. You always ask me to do chores at about um, 50 minutes Please into the show, and I never chores. know exactly why. What chores were you doing that I asked you to do? Um, washing the hogs, feeding the <laughs> pigs, and other <laughs> boar-related tasks. <laughs> it's a boring job. It's a boy, <laughs> but somebody's got to do it. Somebody's somebody's got to do, gotta do All it. Right. Oh man! Hey, oh. we have a special guest. Yeah, we do. Who not only is a clown and hospital performer, someone who is spreading joy to kids across the world, but he is also a teacher at the School of Magic. Which he calls in the interview, he references Hogwarts, and you'll see oh, it. Oh, you'll it's see pretty why. Cool. Oh my gosh. But amazing. he gets to share joy with a lot of kids in South Africa who come from oh. hard backgrounds and get a chance at something really fun. Carlo. And so we're checking in Pencil. with our Carlo. special guest today, Pencil. Carlo 
Penso. Take a look. Carlo Penso. Carlo Penso, how are you doing? Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Very good. Where are you right now? I'm in Cape Town, South Africa. We, you know, it's about just after seven o'clock in the evening. It's really, really, it's very, we, we had some fantastic weather down in Cape mm -hmm. Town. We're getting close to our spring. Um, we've had a few wet weather and that, but on the whole, it's, it's, we've had fantastic weather. It's been gorgeous outside, being able to go for walks and runs. I think um, we've had a few ups and downs with lockdown, but I think slowly but surely um, things are getting slightly better. I think our lockdown here in Cape in South Africa has been quite strict, but oh, yeah. on the whole, it's been getting better. Good. We we take we're getting there slowly but surely, and um, having Excellent. fun. Excellent. Oh, that's great. So now you seem like a really straight guy. What's the deal with the crazy Carlo? Well, crazy Carlo is just it's my personality. Yeah. He's a very fun, cool character. I like making people laugh. It's very much. My main with my magic is to be both funny and magical yes, in sure. the way I connect to people. And over the years, I've had to slowly, surely just just develop that a bit more. And the way you know where I connect to a child or connect to an adult is that moment when you're doing a magic trick or when you're working when I'm working with a puppet. Is those moments when I have to pause and connect, and then that, that's when the humor comes out through my characters and through my magic. So your uh, your character then is pretty wild as as a character, right? You're, you're pretty expressive and yeah. excited, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's the most important thing about yeah. my personality is when I'm on stage, I, mean, I connect yeah. to my children, the, and the way I connect to my is, is being funny and being bold, but still, sensitive sure, and absolutely just yeah 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 no you're like a big kid i love it i love watching your videos and stuff so <laughs> tell me how you got started yeah, in performing yeah. okay well it started out in puppet shows i was a very young when i started doing puppet shows i remember watching there we had a puppet company in south africa called cape puppet company which is the cape performing arts of 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 south africa and they used to have a puppet company. And I used to see these guys doing puppet shows at my school. And I was like, wow, that was really cool. And on top of that, I had I went to special needs schools and special needs classes. And I used to, I was in this particular school. I used they used to come to my school. And I said, like, wow, that was really cool. So I started doing puppets, getting I got a whole lot one at one Christmas, I got a whole lot of puppets for for my uh, for my Christmas, and I started doing puppet shows for my school and for my class. I even took part in my talent show, and then in two thousand and one, I joined the College of Magic. It was through my puppet mentor Doug Price, oh, yeah. who was a very very well known. Yeah, he's a very famous puppeteer in um, Cape Town, and he suggested to my parents that I should join the College of Magic. Just it'll just oh. boost my confidence, and yeah, and as and since then, I've gone through doing puppetry and, and clowning and magic and then going to hospitals and working as a care clown. Wow. And that's a powerful thing. And that's a really cool thing about what we do is, what I do is always make people laugh and just bring joy and laugh. So I know that you're now teaching at the College of Magic. We'll get to that in a moment. But yeah. your mentor gave you a gift when you were how old? I was about 21. Tell us about that. Yeah. No, now what happened was I was really, I saw your your websites and I thought, well, these are really cool characters. And I said to my folks, this is what I want as a 21st birthday present, this puppet. Coming to my 21st, I had no idea what to expect. And my dad said, you know, after many, many speeches, says, just come forward, come stand there, just turn face me. And then I heard this voice and I said, okay, turn around. And my mentor, Doug, walked on, walked in with this puppet with the bird arm illusion. <laughs> and, with the there, and, then, and then this, and everybody, all my friends and family just went crazy when they saw this puppet. And I was completely um, speechless. And he was, since then, he's been my flagship puppet. 
and I've had him since 2007 and he's been such a huge connect. He's been such a huge, um, I've looked after him and kept him and he's still going strong after all these years. He hasn't aged. Oh, uh, he hasn't wow. aged at all. So he's quite a, uh, it's all a, he's, got, he's got good genes uh, and he's well made. And I've also- Do you have him anywhere near you there? Yes. Uh, let me find him. I'm sure I've, Hang on, hang on, Vern. Oh, be back now, okay, Vern. Oh, what's going on? Okay, okay. He's not. He's not a morning person. <laughs> so, see. Come on. It's the time change. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Who that is? Hi. Do you know who that is? It's Daddy. Stop. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, you look great. Hi, Hello, Vern. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Well, you... Are you? Oh, are you looking so Vern, are you part of teaching at the College of Magic yourself? Yes, yes, yes. All oh, the children are so, so, so good. They are so well behaved. When they talk, they listen. And I like this guy. Hey. I'm just saying. <laughs> Carlo, take us through a little bit of your of your uh, teaching at the College of Magic, and, and what is that? You're, t- you're a ventriloquist teacher, right? Yes. I, I teach um, ventriloquism and puppetry, and one of the cool things about being part of the school is being able to teach this incredible course. And a lot of the students have passions in both puppetry and ventriloquism. We, I've been teaching at the College of Magic in the puppetry department for about 15 years, and it's, the youngsters are so talented, Steve. You'll be so, so surprised. Um, we This year we've had, um, we did a whole ritualism contest as part of this this year. And one of the big things, one of the things I introduced is started this really cool puppetry contest called Puppet Idols. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been running since 2009. It's, last year we celebrated 10 years of our incredible um, contest. And each year we have to develop a call the youngsters have to develop an, an act where they have to, they're given a theme and they have to develop a whole act in about five weeks. Wow. And then it goes through two rounds. This year, because of lockdown, we've had to um, do a ventriloquism contest and the, and they, overlocked and, and film over the acts over the phone oh. and some of the results have been incredible they loved each and every moment they just see just to see these talented and youngsters especially under oh. very stressful yeah. conditions yeah. and that but but I thought they've done some incredible work and they're really and i'm very very proud of the way they they've done and have grown and become incredible entertainers like and then a lot of and a large percentage of the youngsters we have in our in our in my course, a lot of them are girls. We have a large group of young st- girls in our group, in our ventriloquism, in our puppetry department, and that's the big thing about our group. And they're all very, very, very talented and very gifted. That's amazing. That's so cool. And I assume that you've, since you've been there for nine years, you you actually start as a student. And so, it, how did that transition go from student to teacher? Well, I started in two thousand and one, and it was okay. quite an amazing experience when you go into it and you don't know how, what to expect. And when I walked through those doors, I was like, wow. You almost like, it's almost, how can I strive the College of Magic in, in Hogwarts? <laughs> so I think Hogwarts, but it's It's Africa. beautiful, absolutely. It's yeah. beautiful. And it's the only magic, magic school of its kind in the world where it's, they teach young people. There are magic um, like the Magic Castle and Magic Circle and other magic clubs and societies, but there's nothing like like it in the world. It's nationally where they've got proper. It's a proper school, proper magical art uh, center where they have young people. They have classes where they can with videos and techniques and and it's incredible. And a large percentage of a large a lot we've got about 150 students that come through our yeah. doors. And a lot of large percentage of our youngsters come from very, very difficult backgrounds where they're very facing very right. hard, difficult issues in their life. But a lot of them have gone on to going overseas. We've got one youngster that has competed in America's got um SS mm-hmm. Got Talent. He's gone on to going to compete, has gone overseas to Vegas. And they are really, really talented. And uh, one of the things each year we've had a group of youngsters that have gone to 
Las Vegas and they've gone to see Cirque du Soleil and nice. they've actually met Terry uh -huh. Fater. So they've gone to we've visited, That's right. So we visited and they've gone to visit and they visited and then they really enjoyed it. That's fantastic. Yeah, I was able to meet some of them in Vegas. And of course, I've been on um, Skype interviews with the students and we've uh, helped with uh, prizes for the winners of the ventriloquist uh, group there. And we really, uh, we enjoy being part of the College of Magic. And Carlo, this has been a wonderful interview. Thank you, Vern, for joining him. Uh, super fun to Thank see you, you, man. And um, I wish you all the best. How do people get a hold of you if they want to learn more about maybe hospital clowning or hospital visits and entertaining? Well, you can get hold of me on my website, which is um, www.crazycarla.co.za. And you can follow my Facebook group, Crazy Carla Children's Entertainer, for puppet oh, shows and ventriloquism and, and magic. magic. And being able to bring a real special touch of craziness and fun to your next event. Wonderful, Carla. This has been special. Thank you so much, man. We'll see you on. Thank you so much. We'll see you on Inside Act still. Come on, hit that like button yeah. for Carlo, Crazy Carlo. I That's just put great. his website in the comments for all of you who are interested in finding out more. Super Either cool. about the College of Magic in South Africa or just about hospital clowning. Oh, which that's amazing It's so cool to yeah. hear how he's spreading joy and making mm. the world a happier place that yeah. way. So check out Carlo's website. You can also just find him, Carlo Penso, on Facebook. I think he's here right now with us yeah. uh, as well. A lot of people use our puppets in hospital work, Ryan. Like uh, Sean Petrello earlier oh. today was talking about what he does uh, and he he loves to use our puppets in well did you kind of know well. steve yep. did you know this steve that some hospitals don't allow latex which is why we actually can offer any puppet we make in silicone did you know that steve i don't think you did oh yes so for anyone that ever needs something that is allergen free or you know for a hospital contact steve at axtel.com or ryan at axtel.com and we can build it for you out of silicone. Yeah. It's an amazing material. And Sean contacted us earlier. Notice that it's two L's in Axtell. Sometimes people put one L and it doesn't get to us. Oh, and Carlo is here with us yeah. right now in the Carlo, comments. that was a great Come interview. Come on, what an interview. Wonderful, wonderful place that you work at there. Hey. And we are proud sponsors of the ventriloquist yeah that's right steve uh, contest at the uh, it does College look of Magic it does look year. like hogwarts too yeah it does it's, it's got awesome. a cool vibe man i wish i could visit Super tyler cool. axtell my younger brother has yeah. been to uh joe berg in south africa i have not made Ooh. it there i've been a lot of places but i have not been there so carlo oh. i may have to make a trip out I would love you? to be at Cape Town. I'd see love to come on. and see the College of I Magic, know. actually. Yep. Hey, we got Frank here. What's up, Frank? Glad you are here right. with us. We He just moved. That's right. Um, and Jay is asking, does silicone last as long as latex? Steve, oh, doesn't it oh, last silicone longer? silicone is decades. Yeah, decades. Yeah, so a lot longer than latex. Of it's course. a little bit yeah. more expensive it's because it's... It's not an organic material. It's, it's synthetic, so it, it lasts takes a, a little lot bit more on our end to make. Oh, so it's a lot costs, harder. It costs a, lot a bit more. Work, a lot harder to paint. But the trade-off is it lasts longer. Lasts so it's more expensive, longer. but it lasts longer. Mm -hmm. And it is we non do. it is non-organic. It is it's a synthetic material. Latex is organic. There's yeah. pros and cons to both. Mm -hmm. um, latex is biodegradable. Very yeah. good for the environment. All right, here's the deal, friends. We got something special coming up. Take a moment and share this video. Again, I know you've probably already shared it. Share it one more time. Let people know an exclusive Axtell Puppets coming up. And because when you share this video, it enters you in the giveaway. Yep. You are not eligible for the giveaway unless nope. you have shared this video. Right. We have a giveaway and we have an auction coming up. Giveaway and auction. So please take a moment, share this, like Henry Frost just did. Come on, guys. Smash that like button for Henry Boom. for sharing. We appreciate every single share. After the show, Steve and I go and count every single share. And it reminds us why we even do what we do because of you guys. We appreciate that. Right. So thank you, Henry, for right. sharing. Yep. Um, Steve, what is our giveaway tonight? tonight? Oh, in fact, mm -hmm. who's that little guy right there next to you? Oh, my gosh. This is... And what is he on? This is our our little dinky monkey okay this is the gray a gray dinky monkey okay if you've ever watched um 
the uh, uh, Stan Winston, uh, Steven Spielberg movie, uh, what was it called? Um, Not Duel. They had the Greys. The Greys, no. No, it wasn't Duel. It's was it was all about gorillas. Not Gorilla, Planet of the Not Apes. Gorillas in the Mist, no. Because that wasn't... Okay, uh, that's all right. Let's do, Anywho. Let's don't go there. This is a dinky talk. <laughs> it's a short, easy talk. Thank you, Jay. Thank What's you, that? Robert. Yep. Everyone's sharing it. Steve Ronker. Thank you, guys. All right, but nobody's Carlo, helping me with the name of the Spielberg movie or the the uh, Stan Winston. I don't think anyone here is that old, Steve. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Sure. I don't yeah, think. Is the Abraham the Lincoln here? Could you tell no, us on. what movie it's, it's Steve's the, talking it's about? about the, it's about those gorillas. It's. Uh, you don't. Hold on. Hold on. It hold is, on. It you is you don't mean the You don't mean the Michael Crichton novel. No. Uh, which with, one? With the gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. Congo? Congo. We're talking Congo. 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 Stan Winston did these, and they had the grays. Stan this Winston. This is a gray right here. Okay. This is a gray. He's a little less intimidating than the grays <laughs> oh, yeah. from a Congo. A little bit. A little bit. Let's turn him on, Ryan. Okay. So, Let's check he this is out. on the dinky talk. I turned him on instantly. <laughs> Look at this. Instantly, I turn him on. He's instantly moving. Hi, everybody. And talking. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. You're the best around. <laughs> no one's going to ever put you down. He's now, a fan of Cobra Kai moving, on Ryan? Netflix. How is this mouth moving? So you know what? This is the Dinky Talk, which is the same functionality of the Easy Talk, but a slightly lower price point because we were able to make it smaller. So the Dinky Talk is our cheapest, most affordable animatronic, animatronic ever, system, ever. but it's got a ton of features. So check it out. So Steve, go ahead and put it a little more front and center for us. Yeah. Um, the head moves left and right automatically. <laughs> And the mouth is controlled by an audio signal. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm triggering it with the live microphone. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's the final countdown. It's the what? The final countdown. Say it again. The final <laughs> countdown. <laughs> he only knows 80 songs. <laughs> Just kidding. So his mouth can be triggered by an audio input, which until now has only been reserved for our Magic 2 system, which yep. starts at like yep. $12,000. So this Easy Talk you're seeing right here for the Dinkies, we call it the Dinky Talk, is at $899. Our most affordable animatronics ever. And listen to this, no remote control is needed, okay? The head moves automatically and randomly. It changes, you don't have to do anything. It's running off the optional battery pack right now. And then there's an audio input plugged into the back. So see right here, we got a battery pack and then we have an audio cable that's coming off a little soundboard. This is the battery right here. It's and that's got this microphone. Yeah, just a little battery pack. It's also wall powered. Our hands-free light unit Velcro is battery. not wall powered. This one is, so it's both. And it can be triggered by a microphone like this uh, oh, what song was I saying? Welcome to the jungle! Oh, we've got fun and games! Again, he's a fan of 80s music. Or it can be <laughs> triggered by a pre recorded audio track, like our Dinky track for the banana That's song, right. yeah. which we have available, which may be a giveaway tonight. Oh, it, or it probably will be. It can even be triggered by a voice memo from your phone. Yeah. And Steve, you know yeah. what else? What? What else, Ryan? What else? I'll tell you, Dinky Monkey, the Grays, hashtag Nummy Nanas, hashtag Watch My Video, hashtag The Dinkies with a Y. What? Tell me about it. I'll tell you. What? I'll tell you. Come on, tell me now. I'm trying to tell you. Why? I keep interrupting you. Yes, you keep interrupting me. I want to tell you. Go ahead and tell me. Okay, here's the deal. Yeah. I lost my train of thought. Uh-huh. Well, that was a lot of work right there. He works with our AI system. Oh, my God. And, you know, we don't totally get to talk does. too much about our AI system. But, again, well, it's because it it's is top secret. a standalone library yeah. that works with our Magic 2 systems where you can have a full-on conversation yeah. with the character. Ongoing for hours and hours and hours. You can ask questions, and mm -hmm. it'll answer you. And, and this again, works with the AI. Normally, that's only worked with our Magic 2 system, which yeah. I think starts at 12,000. Yep. Yeah. And now it works with... The Easy Talk because it accepts an audio signal. Yeah, Easy Talk and Dinky. And the Dinky Talk. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of entertainers here who like to do performances and who are learning to do performances mm. on Zoom, on calls, corporate calls, who are doing virtual birthday parties. This is an easy way to add an antagonist. You could do the voice yourself. <laughs> 
or you could have someone off camera doing the voice and you instantly have a sidekick, your own Ed McMahon, you know, um, <laughs> someone that's kind of jabbing and adding, ooh, Patrick said like a great foreigner song. Oh, oh man. Oh, let's um, do it. Let's do, uh, uh, yeah. Who my eyes with that double vision. Took me a second to remember a foreigner song. Double Vision, though, came to mind. Also, ooh, ELO. I just had an ELO song. Oh! Um, oh, my gosh. Good one. But it passed. Yeah. So Already gone? Already gone. Hmm. Huh. Tells you a lot about the band. No. No, 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 no. Here's, here's the song I have in my head right now. Sign, sign, everywhere a sign. Blocking up my memory, taking my mind. Do, do this, this, don't do that. Can't don't you read, read the, the signs? signs? Who is that? Was that ELO? No, it was not ELO. ELO would be things like, don't bring me down. Don't uh, bring me down. <laughs> Wish. <laughs> don't bring me down. I've been waiting to for a girl, girl like, you like you to come, come into my, my life. life. I've been waiting. waiting Anyways. Like you. you all get the gist. Yeah. No one wants to hear us sing, except if you do, go to Spotify. <laughs> oh, Strange Magic. There we go. Thank you, Wally. Got a strange magic. Um, Got a. Oh, sorry. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> hey. He's more of a black metal fan. He's really into pig squeals. Hey, give us your best pig squeal. Excuse me. Smoker's cough. No, oh, you haven't done Ooh. that since the Screamer days, dude. I used to be in a Whoa. metal band, Whoa. but you can also check out my normal music. What? Tim Yu? You have to go? You have shows? No. Hey, you're going to hear from Tim Yu soon. Anyways. It's like midnight shows? What? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yep. Well, he's in New Zealand. Oh. Well. Good morning, Tim Yu. I think so. I could be wrong. Here's the deal. Share this video. Carlo just shared his website. Make sure to check it out. We're getting ready to do a couple woman. of things right now. Da -da 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 Evil woman. Da -da 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 Oh, Tim Hughes in Australia. My ah, bad. Ah, there you go. Hey, I know you're not an All Blacks fan. Come on. I got your rugby. Don't worry. <laughs> I got your back, Tim. My bad. That was insulting. There's a rivalry between Please Australia stop. and New Zealand when it comes stop to rugby. Stop the insults, friend. This is not what I we know. do. I <laughs> know. I know. We are building hey, bridges. Hey, all right. Here we go. We have a giveaway that I'm going to pick from someone who shared this, and then we have an auction. Not ditches, Ryan. Okay. We have an auction of a one-of-a-kind Axtell product that cannot be bought off our website. Ooh, Bananarama, Wally, way to go. I like the Dinkies reference, Bananarama. Um, <laughs> so anyways, take a moment, share it one more time, because that I'm qualifies right you now. to get into... I it. come from the land down under. Give me a Vegemite sandwich. And it's actually not Vegemite, it's it's what? Vegemite sandwich. I had Vegemite in Switzerland. But what is, it is but he said it's know not what, Vegemite. They said it was what last week? Uh, all I know is when I had Vegemite in no, no, no. in Switzerland, no. it was saltier than I expected. Well, Vegemite in Switzerland is different than Vegemite in No, it's the from down, an Aussie who brought under. it from the land down under. Yeah, and uh, What was that, Steve? And uh, and uh, land down under. I come so from the my land question down is under. it was called Milk, 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 meat, wasn't it? No, that'd be milk meat. You're you're thinking of milk meat, <laughs> no, Steve. No, I remember they said not Vegemite sandwich, but milk meat, something. Like hey, Steve, I think the mug is fine, but it's be kind of behind my circle screen, <laughs> and I'd love to make sure it's okay. Thanks, Steve. All right, hey, let's get into that giveaway. I'm gonna go to our list of shared people, okay? Where From the it, insiders. Where safe? Where's the safe zone so you don't have to worry about it? Right um, in the middle of the table. Not uh, near the edge, Steve. In the middle All, of the table. In the middle of the table. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Carlos said, Oz, New Zealanders, and South Africans are rugby cousins. That's there we right. go. There we go. That's right. All right. Let's see here. Let me, let me go. We got, yep. we got some shares here. 
All right, 99 red balloons. 99 red balloons, y'all. All right, let me see here. I'm gonna go. Let's let's go to our Facebook. I'm gonna I'm gonna get our most recent list of everyone that shared. Steve, explain what we're giving away. Okay. okay? What we are giving away is the axe tracks, and the um, of of the uh, banana song that's interactive between you and the character. That's right. And if you happen to buy an Easy Talk or a Dinky Talk, we, we will, will give, give you the you Easy Talk version. The Easy Talk version, which is as split we track demoed last, and it's super last cool. week. Yep. It works with banana, banana, banana. It's so cool. Banana. Oh my gosh. Hey, so the banana where's my nano? <laughs> so how do we do this? Um, let me see. Right, I'm, I'm going. going we have 82 shares right now, Steve. All right. So, so I'm going shares. over here to the shares. I have, have a list. 45 but, people here. I'm going to let it load, and, and I can scroll through the list. You Here's will. the deal. Now, do not look, Ryan. You cannot be favorited. I'm not going to favor Chuck Lyons mm -hmm. or Sherry, Okay. I'm yeah. not going to do that. Right. Or Joey Harris. I'm not going to do it. Or Tim Yu. I'm not going to favor them. Or Ryan oh Axtell. I won't favor Ryan Axtell. Sherry is going to love All right. The Here's the deal. We have an auction coming up, and Great it is going to make you lose your mind it's because crazy. it's pretty it's cool. Idea. So really cool. I have a list right now yep. Yep. of everyone that shared. I'm, I'm letting it cache in my browser, nerd alert, so <laughs> that I can scroll through it all. And pick someone to win, okay? All right. All right. Now, Skippy just joined. So he wants to... Skippy, Skippy? if you want to be in this, you got to share. you got to share right Skippy now. Skippy has a blue dinky that may or may not be finished and a brown dinky, which may or may not be close finished. close to being finished and close to shipping as well. Coming Skippy. your way, Skippy. Yep. We yep. got your dinkies. Many of you, we got your dinkies coming. The only hey, way and we reminder, can favor you, Skippy, is when you, you get your dinkies, this video. Make sure to tag us. Shares. Hashtag the Dinkies, hashtag Axel Expressions. Also, the Dinkies have their own Instagram account. Hashtag the Dinkies. That's true, isn't I'm it? I'm sorry, yeah, at the Dinkies right. and yep, at yep. Axel Expressions. When you get it, post some videos. Sherry, you're going to want part of this auction. Oh I can't give gosh. away too much. Oh, my Just, gosh. There I is... think you're going to want to be here, and we'll get there. All right, Steve, I think I'm ready for the giveaway. All right. Um, Scroll through, buddy, and it's going to be the... Banana song giveaway, the, the whole routine, the, the dinky yep. monkey routine, which includes the banana song, and it's you interacting with the character as you saw us demonstrate last week. If you haven't seen it, go back to episode five. This is six, right, man? This is episode five. You're talking about episode four. 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 This is episode five. Which was in three parts because of the power outage. <laughs> oh, go back to episode four ABC. But we demoed and it with the Easy Talk C. last week. Yeah, and a reminder, if I call someone and you're not here... I got to move on to yeah, yeah. someone that's here. Hey, okay? Scuba Diver Joe's with us, by the way, Ryan. Scuba Diver Joe, Scuba Diver I have this cup. Scuba I actually scuba just scuba put it in the dishwasher because I've been drinking so much coffee out of it. I had to switch yep. to my, my buddies in the band Union yeah, that's Creative. Right. That's right. That's awesome. Okay. I'm almost at the bottom of the list here. Okay. Thank you. All right. Skippy shared, so we're ready to good. I think Cher Man, song Owen is Reed now shared a lot. Sharers. A Cher song. Oh, a Cher song. Really? Share, share. Everyone got share. A not share, share song like Sunny and get share. It? Get it? Yeah, Sunny and share a share song. So like you know. All right. All right. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Are they closed? Actually, you're looking up. Well, I just. Oh, transmitter. You want to turn that off? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, he's closing his eyes. Give Put me... your hand over your eyes as well. Okay, okay. So I can really tell that you're not looking. Now count it down, Steve. T tell me when okay. to stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Meredith Halfond. Cool. All right, Meredith, congratulations. Hold on, Meredith, are you here with us? Yeah, let she us... has to be here in order to win. Someone let us like... know if Meredith Halfond yep. is here. Juan well, Lou, what's up? Hey, Juan Lou. All right. All Meredith. right, Meredith, if you're here, you let me, win. Let me, let me comment real if quick. If you're not here, you don't win. So let's... Completely blind that I boom, chose boom, boom. her. Yep, yep. You were indeed. I verified it. But she's got to be here to win. Plus, I trust you. Making his way downtown, walking fast, dude. something, something, homebound. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Meredith, are you here? I'm Night not seeing Ranger, Meredith. come on. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not. 
I love Meredith. these songs. All right, All right. I may have to go back to the list. All right, Meredith, we're going to give you five. A count of five to say hello oh, and on, say Meredith. I'm here. Five. Oh, wait. Spec yeah, Skippy said, is she here? Four. Oh, wait. Yep. Mer Mer I uh, see a smiley face from That was Meredith. her. Yep, yep, All yep. right. All right, Meredith, you're here. Okay, so Meredith, what you're going to want to do is send Steve an Congratulations. email. Congratulations. At Steve at Axtel.com. Let me, let me tag you. And he's going to send you a link to yeah. a free download um, of our brand new Axe Tracks. It's cool. You can interact with a Dinky Monkey puppet or the Easy Talk. It's super and cool. And technically, you could use it with other puppets as well. Oh, yeah. Any, any puppet, puppet that wants a banana. Any... <laughs> right? All right. So, Meredith, cool. let me, let me, uh, let me fun, put a comment fun, fun. here. And we're going to get to our auction. Congratulations. Friends. Everybody's saying hi. Congratulations Love it. to you. All right. All right. Meredith. All right, Meredith. Let's see. Good, Good job. There, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm able to tag you. Whoa. All right. Hold on one second. Whoa. Email. Whoa, Ryan. Yeah, Steve. Hold on. Hold on. Don't Whoa. reach for stuff. What? To get Whoa. your What's free going on? extracts. Hold I on. Let me finish. I, I am, know you need me I to am do... waiting. I know you're waiting. My arm I've been waiting. Is not waiting. For a monkey like you, another to foreigner come song. Into my life. That's foreigner, isn't it? It's foreigner. Yep, I think I sang it earlier. Uh, but hey, we are reaching <laughs> because what's going on. My arm is Steve, out of control. Steve, want to go ahead and it's check into control. that mug? I see what? your no. arm moving a ton. Okay, the what's mug happening is there. with my shirt? Oh, oh my goodness! My goodness! Is it's... that an auction shirt? This is Steve? an auction shirt. We must. We must go back to the auction. No hat and shirt. Boom. All right, folks, we hey, are here. Real quick, Sherry's saying, I emailed that guy about the banana, but never got an in, any info back. Oh, James Was Changeling. James Changeling. Okay. That's right. That was no, last James, week. James Changefield. Changefield. Thank you. Yeah, James Changefield, okay. Brian. All uh, I'm going to say, will... okay, Steve. We will ping him. All right. Hey, you can you can turn. Hey, do you want to turn me off? <laughs> or do you want to leave me on? Hang on just a second. I'm pinging. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Hey, again, just a reminder. If you would share our banana video and the follow-up video we just made yesterday on YouTube. All right. We would be so appreciative. We might even make six cents in ads, <laughs> which oh. Steve and I will split. Also, Ryan, if you want one of these. That's right. We get asked a lot. An Axtell Expressions Cup. Check this Innovations out. that help you entertain the world because you're at the center of what we do. Yeah, you are. That's right. These are available on our Cafe Press slash Axtell Expressions. Yep, cafepress.com slash Axtell Expressions. We got Mugwatch 2020. We got Axtell Expressions mugs. Um, grab one. Come on. Come on. Good stuff. All right. Good stuff. We got an auction coming up. Steve, mm. Sh Sherry, I'm just saying, this this reminded me of you when I saw it. No pressure. Now, no Steve, pressure, Sherry. set off. I'm pretty much. Do you want to set up? Anything specifically about this? Yeah. If someone has something on yeah. order. So here's the deal. Explain what's going to be happening because this will be going We have a lot of forward. dinkies on order and they are shipping. Okay. Many of them have shipped as of yesterday yeah. and today. A lot Actually, of them are already Many of out. you will be getting your dinky in a couple and days. And they are super cool. Yep. We have the browns and we have the grays. And the grays have a blue cast hair in them. And then um, a few people that were some of the lucky ones at the beginning we had uh, three. Got the three. Reiner, Aaron Sherman, and Skippy. Very rare blue dinkies. And the reason the is. The fabric was gone. It's no longer available. Hey, I had Joey Harris tuning in. Anywhere. Joey, you are right. Steve tried to pass it up, but that mug is literally 50% off the table. Are you kidding me, Steve? Can you move it in so it's at least 60% <laughs> of the masses on the table? Thanks, Steve. Back to you. All right. Anyways. So as I was saying. You were saying until you failed with the mug. Until Joey pointed out my mug failure. Thank you, Joey. Cheers to you. Broadway ah. confirmed. So, we have something special tonight, and this is uh, a Susie special. Susie this, is my mom, yeah, Steve's wife, the wife. matriarch of Axtell Expressions. Yeah. And she has come up with a mixture of furs and hair 
That is super cool, and I'm so excited. So about basically, this. what we are telling you is we have a one off dinky. We will not be making more of no, these. It's a Susie special. And moving forward, we will be auctioning off mystery dinkies, which are exclusive one offs. Did you have to be here? You that are not here on live. the website. Yeah. That are not in our mailing list, that are only here for you insiders who join us live yeah. on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube later, you missed out. So yep. come and join right. us on Facebook. Now, if you have a dinky on order, this cannot replace it. Nope. This is this Orders is over, are and a, over and above all of the dinkies on, on our mm -hmm. website. This is a special auction only yep. inside Axtell because you are an insider. You get yep. the scoop and on the, this. And the so. reason we're saying all that is there's, there's a whole mechanism to oh shipping and gosh. building dinkies. Yeah. And, but we decided, you know, it'd be fun to make some one-offs because here's the deal. Yeah, some of the yeah. fabrics we can't get from India, no, no. China, Pakistan, a lot of the, the manufacturers that we yeah. buy from yep. are no longer shipping. So mm. sometimes we have a small piece of fabric that yep. would look like a killer dinky. We might have like a piece like this that Susie says, oh, let's use that on, yep. it, on this. So dinky. you cannot cancel an order to get this, but... If you're looking, if you bought a dinky and want a special one, you can bid on this. Or if you don't even have a dinky, you can get this. So let me let me set this up before Steve brings this out. Who doesn't have a dinky? Everybody's got a dinky here. I hope so. I would think. All right, so. here's here's the deal. I got Chuck Lyons at 150 already. Seventy-five dollars starting bid. I got Chuck Lyons at 150. Here here's the deal. If you've never been a part, Chuck, hold that thought one second. If you've never been a part of an auction, we go in $5 increments. You can go up higher than $5 as long as it's divisible by five. Math. It doesn't include shipping. As soon as we have a high bid, only bid yeah. if you are serious about winning because all bids are final. It's true. So if you just want to have fun and watch, go for it. But if you want to win, put your bid We'll add shipping. We do our best to keep shipping affordable and cheap. We get great rates. And this is a... Do you see that in the background, friends? What's that? Do you see... Was that a custom pink dinky? A what? Was that a pinky dinky? It's a pinky dinky. Check it out, folks. This is a pinky dinky. The only <laughs> one in existence. We might be able to make... Uh, Steve, don't for the don't for, go there because for, it'd be auction Don't only. say only we have know. fabric. No, you no. say it and then we don't. I don't know that we do Kay. because I blew it with the the blues, but we do have this one. This Yay! is the only pinky dinky Yay! that we have. Sherry, pinky, I saw pinky. the hair and I thought of you. Pinky dinky, love it, love it. Pinky dinky, pinky dinky. All right. So a lot of you have dinkies on order. <laughs> Again, this is in addition to anything you have on order. We're not canceling any orders, but this is a one-off that we just made. And we just thought, you know what? If we're going to make this available, it's only going to be the insiders. And we'll be doing this somewhat regularly. Yeah. It's and so super cool to me. <laughs> we don't have an estimated I value because we've guys. never made a custom dinky. I have no dinky. idea and, what this is and worth. And you know what? We don't take custom orders for dinkies. You're going to tell just, us what this is worth. You know what? I had 150 from Chuck. Yeah. I got 155 uh, yeah. from Steve Walker. Look at this. Look at this. So I'm going to I'm going to put that up at 150. Dinky dinky. Dinky dinky. All right. Ooh, I, dinky, dinky. Sherry, I got Sherry at 75, but dinky, I, I have dinky. I have Steve Ronker at 150. I had All Chuck right. at, I'm sorry, I have Chuck at 155. Nope. I have Steve. Chuck at 150, Steve at 155. Uh, you guys know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, let me let me get this up there. I'm a pinky dinky. So dinky, on, a, dinky. on occasion, we're going to be bringing you <laughs> some one-off dinkies based on the fabrics we are able to get. Ooh. I have Benny Kirshner at 160. Look at this dinky. Gina, I also have Gina at 160. Remember, we will add shipping. Shipping. We'll keep it low. Yeah, well. Amanda said his hair is the same color as her monster slippers. Ah, that's slippers. pretty cool. Monster I selfishly slippers. want to keep this for my kids. Ah, Steve Wonker. Ah, 175. Oh, I love it. I kind of hoped no one would bid, so maybe I could get Steve to give it to me. <laughs> oh, because this one is yeah, pretty cool. cool. So here's the deal, friends. On occasion, we will have one-offs that we will bring Yay! just to you all. Yay! 
You never know when, <laughs> but this was one we had a little bit of extra fabric, and we said, you know what? Ooh, Gina. A Susie special. I got Gina at 175 Yay. as well. Ah, oh, right Yay. on the tail. Right ah. on the tail. Look at this. You put your hand right in the back of the head of the dinkies. Yep. You right in. Right you know what? In. I have big hands, and it even fits me. Yeah. I love it because it goes in. You might have to pull a little bit, but once you're in, it flexes. It, 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 it holds on your hand. It holds yeah. on really well. Right there. Mm. Right there. It holds I on. got Gina. You know right what, Steve? There. This is a bit premature, what? but. Swoop! There it is! I got oh, Gina. We got a swoop? At 180. It's been a while Whoa, since I've been able to hit that a swoop button. Yeah, felt good. That felt good. It felt yeah. good to hit that swoop button. I got Gina at 180. Again, right. if you're watching on Facebook after the fact and you want to be part of the live action, join Hi. us Thursdays Hi. on our live stream. What? I got Steve the Swooper Wonker. Swoop, there it is. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I got Steve yeah. at 200 here. 200. And what's fun about this is this one is made. You don't have to wait. Nope, it's ready to go. It'll ship tomorrow. It'll ship tomorrow. Look at that guy. Nice. Oh, that gal. Love the hair. And that is literally a one-off piece of fabric. We tried to make two out of it. We didn't have enough. It's a sample that's no longer available from a factory that we order from. And we were able to make one dinky out of it. That's right. Because Susie's a whiz. That's right. Susie is a whiz. Steve. Oh, I got Gina at 205. Yep. Swoop, there it is. What are the color of the eyes, Steve? Someone asked. These are brown. Those are brown eyes. I've got eyes. brown and black pupils. Brown and black eyes. Okay. Obviously, if it has pink hair, you have brown and black eyes. That's genetic. That's Dinky Genetics 101. <laughs> well, they could have any color you want, but this is what we've got right now. This is what we... Ooh, so the thing about dinkies I got, is they're ooh, not made to order. They are surprises. Dinkies are full of surprises. So we have what you can order on the website, the brown the and brown the gray. The brown and the grays. And then we I have love, on our, I love me the brown dinky, on man. Inside Axtel, if you come and you join us live every Thursday, you're going to see something yeah. new and unique. Yeah. yeah. Where am I? <laughs> Nowhere to be seen. Wow. That works with this. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Try it again. Sing your favorite song, Dinky. It's not singing. Goodbye, your... Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> Can't stop me in your friend's house. No, I'm sorry. Doing Steve's that. a big I'm Elton John that. fan. It's not has anything to do with them. No, the cool thing is the Easy Talk controls Steve <laughs> with a mic input. All right, let's go. All right, come on. Two hundred and twenty dollars. Steve Wonker going once. All right, we are going once. I'm putting it in the comments. If I can remember I got my how to. I my shirt on and everything, folks. Come on. Are you even going to reach for the lightsaber? Yeah, I am. The whole deal. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love this camera. I love this camera. Look at this. I used to not be able to put anything close to the camera. Now we got this hey, incredible Hey, we are GoPro. upgrading here at Inside yeah. Axtel. New cameras, new dinkies, I don't new see hosts. The feed Please welcome Ryan Reynolds and Steve Carell. <laughs> All right. $220 to Steve I said, Wonker. Ryan Reynolds and Steve Carell. Actually, just Ryan Thank and you. Steve. Thank you. Not Carell, not Reynolds. Look at look at how look at how little they are. Okay, hold on, Steve. Oh, okay. I got Gina. I like it. Ooh, there it is. Gina. At two thirty. All right, Gina. But you know at what? I literally made a Ryan Reynolds and Steve Carell joke, and I didn't not get even it. referencing that it's our first names. Didn't even get it. That's pretty impressive. Ryan and Reynolds and Steve Carell. Why? Because Steve and Ryan. Steve and Ryan. I Our co-hosts are more famous versions of ourselves. Hi. It's impressive, man. I don't know if that's so Steve impressive. Steve Ronker. Hi. Is that a bird? <laughs> swoop, nope. Is. It's a swooper. <laughs> it's a swooper. Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen and Ryan Newman. Is that like Paul Newman? <laughs> All right. We got Steve Ronker at 250. 250. All Fitty. right. 50. 250. Steve Ronker. Remember, we will get this to Teresa. She will add shipping. We get great rates. She'll get you a good rate, and she will take care of payment. 
And we will get this shipped off tomorrow. All right. All right. I know, Sherry. I saw the hair, and Steve and I instantly thought of you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks like Sherry. Awesome. You inspired. This is a Sherry. Whoever wins this, this is a Sherry-inspired dinky. It's great at balloons. It's great entertainment. <laughs> well, it's latex anyway, whether it's balloons or not. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, cool. $250 Love to it. Steve Ronker going once. All right. I want to hit that swoop button. What are you pointing at? Ah. Wally, that was for you. What are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? Hey, William's here from Pennsylvania. Oh, there you go. What up, William? You need a pinky dinky. What are you pointing at? I'm not pointing at anything. All of you watching on YouTube on the playback, you know you want to be a part of this. Join us live on Facebook at Axtell Expressions on Thursdays, 3 p.m. $250 to Steve Ronker going twice. Oh, shoot. Going Mm. twice. Peace, baby. Nice. You remembered. Peace, baby. Yeah, I forgot to use ventriloquism for that. That's all right. Mm. It's all right. Hey, Francisco, great question. Normal dinkies are $99. And you can order them at thedinkies.com. You can even order the dinky talk there. What is the dinky talk, Ryan? It is an animatronic that controls the dinky monkey with audio. Works with our AI, a live microphone, and pre-recorded audio. $899. Battery-powered, wall-powered, simple to use, no remote control necessary, no fancy programming, just Audio, baby. Do we have any scoops Ooh, out there? A scooper? A scoop. A scoop. Gina at 255. She says Connecticut needs a pinky dinky. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. She knows. Yeah. She knows what Connecticut needs. Connecticut. Connecticut. Stanford, Connecticut. Hi. Office ref. All Hi, right. Connecticut. Or you, hey, if you want to grab one of our dinkies. Hi, Connecticut. I'm going to put a link here. <laughs> Hi, Connecticut. The arms are like little ropes inside of, of these little sleeves, and they have felt hands, felt That's feet. That's true, Steve. And you could put a little wire on there if you wanted to control the hand, if you wanted to go, Oh, my. Hello. Hi. If you wanted to do anything with Steve with this, Ronkers in we'll Connecticut, to too? That. Come on. Mario, a kinky, pinky, dinky. Get your mind out of the... Limerick gutter, not limerick. Um, <laughs> what's the word? Uh, what, 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 what? Are the uh, pun? pun? No, the when pun? something has a lot of the same letters. Oh, oh, the alliteration uh, out of the uh, the alliterative gutter. Get your dinky now at the dinky. Hey, when you get your dinky. Make sure to tag us at the Dinkies, at Axel Expressions, hashtag the Dinkies, hashtag Axel Expressions. We will repost anything you guys have. So those of you who are, what? Swoop, there it is. Steve Ronker, how did I miss? What? Your 265 bid. I oh was too goodness busy. Sake. Oh my god. It's not sold. Sake. Sorry. That was just no, the alert. It's not sold. It's not sold. That was the 265 alert. All right. That only goes off when someone bids 265, <laughs> which is Steve. <laughs> Steve Ronker, 265. All right. All right, folks. That is So a reminder, if you really, are just really cool. joining us and have been living under a rock for literally the last year, this yeah. is a one-of-a-kind dinky we are auctioning. And we will do this regularly here at Inside Axel, only for you all. Not available on our website. If someone emails us and says... Hey, I want a custom dinky. We'd say, sorry, we can't make that right now. But you insiders can bid. And Steve's trying to match my mouth movement. He's a pretty good easy talk, I got to say. So I got Steve Wonker. Stevie Wonks, as he's known in his neighborhood in (laughs) Connecticut. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Another Court, Connecticut? starring Bing Crosby. We had we had them bidding against each other. Tonight. We did. Oh my! Battle goodness. of the East Coast, swooping each other. Who has the best? All right. Hey, what is Connecticut known for? So when I was in Boston at the Big E Fair, I think it's known for going once. Every New England state had a booth. What is Connecticut known for? It's not 
265 going crabs. once. It's not lobster rolls. What are you pointing at? Let me know. What is it known for? 265 going once. What are you pointing at? Old drope. New tricks. What's a joke? I want to know. Can you show a joke, me? A joke. Tarzan, Phil Collins. You said joke? Nailed it. <laughs> All right. $265 All right. going twice. Peace, baby. <laughs> what do you say in the third? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what you say. It's literally been a while. Uh, I don't know if I do say anything on that. Or is it just that my arm goes crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is. Yeah, it's been a while. All right, it's been hey, a while. Those of you out here, Steve Wonker right. is about to go home. Oh my gosh. Bid now, folks, because my arm is going wacky. He's going to start whoa. spinning his arm. What's happening? Oh, whoa. whoa. What's Smooth happening? Whoa. Gina and the Jets. What? Wow. Gina coming in hot. Yeah. At yeah. that $5 increment. $5. $5 foot long or a pinky dinker. $5 foot long foot. Mario, thank you. I got it right here. Foot Gina. Long. 270. <laughs> Gina, not today, meter, meter. Wow, wow. However you say it, she's not messing around. This is a battle for New England right now. <laughs> Hold on, let's Here. ask Siri. Ryan. What food is Connecticut known for? Yeah. Oh, come on, they didn't answer? Ooh, 10 iconic foods. Oh, what? What? Swoop, 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 swoop. There it is. 300 from Steve Ronker. Oh, Steve Ronker. Okay. This is so cool. And I'm yeah, even going to tell so you cool. what Steve and Gina are eating right now. Because they only eat the top 10 best foods <laughs> in Connecticut. And what are those? I need I'll to tell know. you in just a second. If I'm going there, I need to know. I know. Dinky, dinkies what are hungry. Doing? They eat bananas 24-7, as you <laughs> saw. <laughs> they don't eat dinkies in Connecticut, do they? All right, let me see here. Connecticut. Aww. Let me see here. All right, let's give us let's give us something. Hot lobster rolls. Whoa, steamed love that. cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Hot dogs. Deep river snacks. Ooh. Steve, are snacks you eating deep, deep river, river snacks? Snack. Steve I Ronker said, mm. Connecticut's known for high taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so is California, and so is Illinois. As Chuck said, like apple cider. Oh, I could go snacks. for some apple cider. What are river snacks? These yeah, kettle are cooked the chips river are a snacks. crunchy miracle. I would think that the deep ones are not quite as good as the shallow ones. Huh? Let's Down see. Down there with the catfish. Homemade ice cream. Oh. Pez candy. Oh. Shout out. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Donuts. Fox and Park soda. Okay, Gina and Steve. Yeah. Let us know. Have you ever had Fox and Park soda? White birch <laughs> soda. Minty bubblegum taste is delicious. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. I'm sold. Yum, yum. I'm banana cream pie. Oh, my gosh. Steve and I love banana cream pie almost as much as we love pinky uh, seriously, dinkies. Seriously, banana cream pie is it. Yeah. It's it. That's the deal. Oh, my gosh. It is. Banana, All right. Banana, banana. We're no, going. Banana cream pie. We're banana, going. Banana, banana, banana. We're going once right. for Steve. Steve Ronker going once at $300. What are you pointing at? I'm pointing at the banana in the sky. Where? Where? The banana in Come the here. sky keeps Come on here. turning on. <laughs> I don't know what I'll see tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Steve, Steve Walker, Walker said $300. In his, in his fridge is birch beer soda. Steve, going you twice. are so Connecticut. Going twice. All right. Going Boom. twice. Going twice. That's amazing that he's got that. Peace, baby. Come on, he's got birch beer soda? Peace, baby. Peace, baby. Peace, baby. White birch fox and park. Gina, you are nailing it. At least the article that Siri pulled up seems to be congruent with what my resident Connecticut 
Connecticans? Connecticopedia. Connecticians? Connecticopedians are saying. All right. I love Deep it. River. It's probably snacks. like a horchata here. Deep River. Snacks. Yes, Amanda, the dinky monkeys love banana cream pie. This may be. We're going twice to Steve. Are you reaching for it? Hold on, Steve. Whoa, whoa, Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Keep reaching. Whoa, whoa. Keep reaching. I'm reaching. Keep, what are you doing? Keep I'm reaching. reaching. Something's happening to my arm. I don't know what's going right. on. Hold on. Keep reaching. I don't know. All right. I don't know what's ready, going on. I'm whoa. Ready you are. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh. What's going on? The pinky dinky is going to All New right. England. Steve Ronker. Woo. Congrats, Steve. All right. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. I can't believe. Yeah, it's great. I can't believe it. I'm just happy that you or right. Gina won it. Congratulations, Steve. We got a good, we got a good crew here. Love it. Love so, it. So, Steve, here's what you incredible. want to do. Send an email right now mm -hmm. to, no, this email's not dead. Who? How dare you say that? Who said that? Everybody was like, oh, Axe Attic is dead. Oh, my goodness. Sakes. It's not dead. No, no. It's alive. Send me an email, Steve, right now with your mailing address and phone number. Yeah. I'm going to confirm your win, and I'll connect you with Teresa. She'll take payment. Steve's going to drop this off. We'll get this shipped the out morning, in the next I'm day or so. I'm to the shop in the morning and going to give it to Teresa and tell her that this belongs to Steve Ronker. That's right. If she's and this not is watching gonna be, right now, she might be watching right now. This is going to be shipping out. And also, congrats to Meredith, who won the giveaway. In fact, she just said, congrats, Steve. Meredith just emailed us. Nice. She nice. wins the free Dinky or the Axe Track banana song. So, banana, Steve, if you're banana, interested, banana. check out the at the dinkies.com. Check out the Axe Tracks routine that goes with this. Banana, banana, banana. All right. So here's the deal, banana, friends. Banana, banana. You're not going to hear about this anywhere else, but we will have on occasion one-off dinkies. And they yep. won't just be monkeys. We have over 20 That's characters right. planned. Maybe a frog. Maybe a rabbit. Maybe a lion. Maybe a monster, maybe a tiki, maybe a wildebeest. Who knows? I can't confirm or deny any of those except the wildebeest, 100%. <laughs> all I'm saying is these are like the new Beanie Babies. You're going to want to connect all. You're going to connect. You're going to want to collect. Uh, these are like the trolls, too. All of them. Look at these guys. I know. I love them. So, um, hey, Frank's asking, how much is an Axtrax? An Axtrax is $9.95. It's a digital download. You can go demo it for free. Go to the dinkies.com. You can hit the uh, buy now button. It's going to take you to axtel.com. Uh, the whole routine. The you dinkies can to page. It, you and it. you can, yep, exactly. We you have can a video, listen. I think. Um, uh, we will tomorrow anyway. Yes, we will tomorrow. But you can listen to the Axe Tracks for free, the whole routine with the performer's voice. And if you want to buy it, it's 10 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the yeah, truth yeah, is, yeah. it'll work for any character that wants a banana, but we made it for I'm the going dinky. To Connecticut. Which we think is pretty cool yeah. because we're kind of fans of the Dinkies right now. Cool, cool. So, cool, Steve, cool, cool, cool. Yep. there's some more projects we can't talk about, but mm -hmm. the truth is we do a lot of consulting. So, if you are ever interested in consulting, if you want us to help write scripts for your show. Oh, my goodness. Design characters? The music that you hear right now, the music you saw in the Dinky videos, we created it. all. Audio, it. visual, green screen, yep. production. Music, we love to do all of that. We want to help you punch up your show, deliver great content. And so right here, we can right below us, yeah. script writing, audio visual, and other production needs, you just need to email steve at axtel.com. Yeah. And we would love to help you, even if you just have questions. We're doing a lot of consulting right now, in fact, with several clients. Which we can't talk about yet. We can only some say that. Some of it we can't that, talk uh, about, but we are doing mm -hmm. some TV show consulting. Yep. We are doing some talent show consulting yeah. and some just general performance consulting. And we love yeah. doing level. music, International. video, entertainment, all that stuff. So, steve at axtel.com, let us know. We'd love to help you. Yeah. And we are all about empowering you to entertain the world. And we will be back next Thursday. Yep. Steve, what time? Give me oh all my the time gosh. zones, 3 Steve. 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. East Pacific. Pacific. 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Yeah. And then from there, it's like uh, 5 p.m. 
Central. Mm, okay. And then I give you the rest. All right. We got really 10 p.m. GMT and UTC. We got 11 p.m. Uh, BST, British Summertime. Wow. We got Midnight, CEST, Central European Summertime. And that's about as far as we go. But oh we hope you sakes. join us next Thursday yeah. because it's going to be a blast. Oh, don't miss it. Oh, All new gosh. content, maybe some giveaways, maybe some auctions. Thanks for joining us here. Super fun. We Thank create you, innovations folks. to help you entertain the world. Thanks for making this world a happier place. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Love you. Bye-bye.